Howdy folks, Brett here with another quick tutorial for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. In other videos, I've shown you how to remove the bloat from Windows to make the system performance better. In this video, we'll be dealing with the background services. While some are needed by the operating system, there are others that are not needed that serve the benefit Microsoft only, not you, the user. So I'll show you the background services you can safely disable to help boost the performance of your PC. To begin, we'll be using the Services window for most of these, so let's open that up by using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus R key. In the box, type services.msc. When you're done with that, hit enter on your keyboard. An irritating so-called feature that is always running in the background by default is telemetry. Microsoft says to enhance the experience on Windows, they need to collect information from your PC to help make the experience better for everyone. If you believe that, I've got Oceanfront property in Arizona to sell you. While this can be done in settings, it restarts the service every time you reboot your computer. So here in services, scroll down and look for connected user experiences and telemetry. Right click on it and select properties. In the drop down menu for startup type, select disabled. There's no need to click on apply. Clicking OK will automatically apply the change and close the window. Another service here regarding telemetry, if you scroll down, is device management wireless application protocol. Right click, go to properties, choose disabled, then OK. After doing that, you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. In addition to helping system performance, you get the added benefit of additional privacy. Another one to disable is Program Compatibility Assistance Service. This one scans your programs continuously looking for outdated software to fix issues with compatibility. If you keep your programs up to date manually, you don't need this running all the time, affecting your system responsiveness. So right click on it, go to properties, select disabled, then okay. I'll say this once, for all of these I show you, you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. The next one is Windows Biometric Service. If you don't use your face or finger to sign into Windows with Windows Hello, disable it to decrease background activities. I think you all know the routine now. Right click, Properties, drop down menu, Disabled, and click OK. Disable Windows Search. This actually won't disable the Windows Search function, which is pretty bad in its current state, which is why I recommend using other apps like everything. What this does is it turns off the indexing, which leads to slower performance issues. Right click, Properties, Disabled, OK. Windows Error Reporting Service is quite terrible. You'll see this service appear when one of your programs crashes, and you'll see a Send Error Report message. Just like the telemetry stuff mentioned earlier, you don't have to send these reports to Microsoft. To help system performance, disable this unneeded service. Right click, Properties, Disabled, and then OK. These next two are for power users. Diagnostic Policy Service provides troubleshooting solutions for Windows components. I've always found this to be completely useless and ineffective, so I disable it to help improve speed. If you consider yourself a power user, disable it. Right click, Properties, Disabled, then OK. For this next one, we'll open System Configuration, which is another way to disable background services you don't always need. To open it, we'll use the Run dialog box using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus R key. In the box, type msconfig. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Click on the tab for Services. You'll want to be careful here not to disable any essential Microsoft services, so click the box here in the lower left that says Hide All Microsoft Services. 
Doing this will only show third-party services that are not essential to your operating system. Here on the right, you could click Disable All. And if you have any issues with any of your programs when you restart your computer, you can re-enable them individually here. Or you could go through the list and uncheck the boxes individually to disable those services you don't need running in the background all of the time. Like I said, when you restart your computer, you can re-enable those you need if a particular program is not running properly. Whenever you're done with that, click OK. And you'll have the option here to restart or exit without restart. Then you just restart your computer the usual way for the changes to take effect. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. I'm curious, how do you feel about Microsoft collecting data from your PC to improve the so-called Windows experience? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and make sure to hit the bell to not miss out on the latest with Windows here on Brett in Tech.